I've just started Redox with the Year 13s, so I thought I'd make a quick video on how to write half equations in acidic conditions and in alkaline conditions. So we'll start with the acidic conditions. OK, so I'll do a worked example, show you the steps, and then I'll put one on the board for you to try. So you can pause the video and, um, and then play on for the answers. And then we'll go for the alkaline version um, and then that, that's the video. OK, OK, so the first acidic conditions half equation we'll do. So for, this is the worked example is for the reduction of the MnO4 minus ion to the Mn2 plus ion. So the first thing I want to do is just start the equation off. So MnO4 minus, leave some space, it's going to Mn2 plus. Right, so step one, we need to balance the atoms using H2O or H plus. Okay, so we're allowed to use H2O, H plus ions obviously because this is in acidic conditions. Right, so the first thing, the obvious thing to do here is, look, we've got four oxygens there, we've got none on this side. So I'm going to put four H2Os on the right. Now that's introduced hydrogen, it's introduced eight hydrogens. So the other thing I can use is H plus ions. So I'm going to need eight H plus ions to balance the hydrogen atoms. So that's all balanced now for atoms. And the, the last thing, there's only two steps in this, uh, in this type of half equation. I need to work out the overall charge left and right and get them equal to each other using electrons. So the overall charge on the left is 1 minus an A plus, so 7 plus. The overall charge on the right is 2 plus. So I need to bring this down to get to 2 plus, And I'll do that by adding five electrons. So you can see it's a reduction equation, so we're gaining electrons and we need five electrons to get the charges to be balanced. So that equation is done. Okay, just before I write the, the, the steps down, just link it in with oxidation number. The oxidation number of manganese in this ion is plus seven and in the Mn2 plus ion it's plus two. So you can see there's been a reduction. Oxidation number has gone from plus seven to plus two. So that's a change of five. Well, five electrons is what you would need again to bring about that change. So that's the link with oxidation numbers. I know sometimes um, people balance and write these half equations with using an oxidation number method. This is my preferred way of doing them. OK, so there's the two steps. Balance the atoms using H2O and H+. Remember, we're in acidic conditions, hence the H plus ions. So that's step one. And step two, balance the charge left and right using electrons. OK, so one for you to try now. So in acidic conditions, we're going to write the half equation for the reduction of this ion here to Cr3+. Plus. So if you want to have a go at that, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. OK, so just like I did before, the beginnings of the equation I've put in, I've left some space to put other species in. Right, so the first thing we're going to do here is sort out the fact that we've got two chromiums on the left, but only one on the right. So we need a big two in front of that chromium three plus before we go into this here with the water and the H plus. So seven oxygens means seven H2Os. That seven H2Os means we've got 14 hydrogens, so 14 H+. Plus. So the atoms are now balanced, so step one's done. Step two, balance the charge left and right using electrons. So what have we got? Two minus 14 plus, so that's 12 plus. Two three pluses are six plus. OK, so we need to bring 12 plus down to 6 plus with electrons. So that means we need six electrons. And that is the answer. And again, like I did before, just tie in the oxidation number and change. So each chromium, notice there's two chromiums in that. Each chromium is at plus six. So I'll, I'll write two separate plus sixes. Each chromium here is at plus three. OK, 
So the total change in oxidation number is six. Each one is changed by three. So that one there has gone from plus six to plus three. Likewise, obviously that one has as well. So each chromium's been reduced by three, but because there's two chromiums in the uh, equation, you need double that, so that's why we had six electrons. Move on to the alkaline conditions now. I'm gonna use this as the worked example, and then I've got one more for you to try. So we're gonna do the half equation in alkaline conditions for the reduction of this ion to CrOH three times. So first thing we'll do is just put up the beginnings of the equation. So CrO4, two minus, leave some space to CrOH three times. Right, so we do things in a slightly different order for alkaline conditions. So the first thing we do is we look at the change in the oxidation number and put the electrons in first, okay? So we're looking at the change in the oxidation number. So the chromium in this ion is at plus six. And in this compound, each hydroxide is negative one. So that would be plus three. So you can see that the chromium's gone down in oxidation number from plus six to plus three. It's been reduced, it's gained electrons it's gained three electrons. Okay. The next thing we do is we sort the charge out left and right so that they're the same as each other. So total charge on the left is two minus and three minus, five minus. Total charge on the right is zero. This is a neutral substance, no overall charge, so zero. So we need this to be five minus to match that. So we use, because it's in alkaline conditions, we use hydroxide ions. So we put five, we'd need five, wouldn't we? Five hydroxide ions go on that side. So we've now got five minus and five minus. And all we do last is put the water in to balance the atoms. So you can see we've got the, the hydrogen's the easiest thing to look at. So there's no hydrogen on this side. So we're going to go for, so three hydrogens plus five is eight. Well, that means we're going to need four waters. And then just do a quick check. Four oxygens plus those four, that's eight oxygens, three and five is eight. So that's how you do that one. So that's just a quick summary of the three steps for alkaline conditions. Step one, balance the total change in oxidation number with electrons. Step two, balance the charge on both sides with hydroxide ions, remember alkaline conditions. And three, balance the atoms with H2O. Okay, so one for you to try now. So have a go at writing the half equation in alkaline conditions for the oxidation of Cr3 plus to CrO4 2 minus. I've left the steps on, so pause the video, have a go, and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so obviously the beginnings of the equation, and then balance the total change in oxidation number with electrons. So oxidation number here is plus three, plus six. Saw that in the previous example. So you can see that gone up three, so it's lost three electrons. Remember, it's an oxidation reaction, so the electrons will be on that side of the um, arrow. So step two now, balance the charge with hydroxide ions. So we've got a charge of three plus on this side. We've got a charge of five minus, two minus and three minus, five minus on the right. So obviously if we put the hydroxide ions on this side, it's gonna get more negative. It's not gonna to get to be three plus. So we need to go on that side. So we're gonna need eight. So eight hydroxide ions. And that will give us a, when you marry it with the three plus, you get a five minus charge. So that's done. So step three, balance the atoms with water. And again, the hydrogen kind of makes it easy. Eight H's, there's no H's there. So four. H2O's. 
Okay, now the acidic version of half equations is much, much more common. They very, very rarely ask alkaline conditions. And I really struggle to find those two examples. Okay, you do a search online, there's hardly any examples of alkaline um, half equations out there. And when you look through the exam questions, there's very, very few, okay? So it's the acidic one that you need to concentrate on. But obviously, um, it, you do need to know this as well, just in case. Okay then, hope that was helpful. Cheers, bye.